Hi there. As some of you might know, I'm a Milky Way photographer. Milky Way season usually starts at the end of February and goes all the way through October. Um, of course, we've been having constant rain for the past several months, so I didn't even consider checking. But yesterday was such a beautiful day, I checked my Stellarium app, and it, uh, it let me know that the Milky Way would be rising in the southeast at around 3 o'clock in the morning. And I got very excited, and I went out there, and it was breathtaking. Um, I decided to make a video for a friend, and I'm going to share it with everybody else as well. So I hope you enjoy my walkthrough of Milky Way photography. Okay, it is 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm out in the middle of nowhere, and the sky is absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to try to shoot the first Milky Way of 2020. So, let's see what happens. All right, so here are my camera settings. I have an ISO of 3200, which is normally way too high for standard photography, but that's how I'm going to be able to capture the Milky Way. Wish it would focus. Okay, yeah. Uh, shutter speed of 15 seconds. Aperture f2.8. It's going to let in a lot of light. And um, now we have to try to focus on a star, and that's going to be the fun part. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so now I have a star on my screen here. I have it in live view. And I'm going to need to digitally zoom in on this star. There we go. Let's see if we can get it in the middle of the screen here. Now I have to turn my focus wheel until that star is as small as it possibly can be. Oop. That's too much. Oh, yeah, this is such a process, but we're going to get it. I think that's it right there. That's our sweet spot. Yep, went a little too far. There we go. That is as small as I'm going to get it right there. And that should be infinity focus. Now, let's take our first test shot. Okay, see, so we, got, we got a level in the back of the camera that I've already leveled out with the horizon and now we're going to try to take our first test shot and see what it looks like i got the camera pointed in the direction i think the milky way is uh, we will um, set up the composition a little bit more as we go just kind of experiment and once i'm done i'll take multiple photographs to reduce noise and things like that so here we go let's get dark for about 15 seconds Do, 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 do. There's a skunk out here. I hope it's not near me. Come on, come on. Oh, look at that. Let's bring that back up. Holy crap. That's zoomed in. There we go. Yep. Gorgeous night for a Milky Way. There are power lines in my shot, though, so I'm going to have to um, figure this problem out. So I'm going to get to work on this, and we'll see you in a few. Okay, so I've walked across the road and found, I think, what is a, a much better composition. And also, the Milky Way has gotten a lot higher, so now I can see it with my naked eye, and it looks great. So let's try this next test shot, and I'll go ahead and pause it while I... Um, do the test shot so you won't have to wait 15 seconds. So here we go. Okay, now that's done. Let's look at the preview. That's too zoomed in. Crap. Check that out. All right, so I'm going to stick with this image, and I'm going to use my phone as a remote trigger to take this image multiple times so I can stack them and remove noise. So, the last thing I'm going to do is attempt a panorama. So, what that means is I'm going to take a picture, and then I'm going to move the camera this way, take another picture, then this way, then this way, so on and so forth, and I'm going to point up and take another, up and take another, and uh, pretty much try to get a, a, a view of the whole Milky Way band, and I've... I've Never really been able to pull this off in the Delta that well. I, I, I did it once in Vermont. And um, we'll see how this works. So wish me luck and 
I guess after this, you'll see the final, final results.